Let's talk about named ranges. We know every cell has a name and we can see the name box up here. If I select a group of cells, I can change the name of that group of cells. I might call it sales. The nice thing about named ranges is that you can use the drop down arrow to quickly navigate to that named group of cells. Now let's look at how to create multiple named ranges at once. In this example, I want those cells to be called January, those ones to be called April, this group of cells to be called product one, etc. I'm going to select all of the cells at once and go to the formulas ribbon. And here's the group of tools that we use for named ranges. I'm going to use this option to create from selections. And I'm going to use the values in the top row and in the left column. In the top row, so product one, two, and three, and in the left column, which are my months. Click on OK. It doesn't look like anything's happened, but now when I go to my drop down arrow, I can quickly navigate to any of those ranges. Let's see how to use them in a formula. I want to add up product one. I'll use auto sum, and instead of using the range names, I'll use F3. F3 brings up the paste name dialog box and I can choose from the list of named ranges in my worksheet. Let's do it again. I'll press auto sum and then I'll press F3 and I can find product 2 in this list. Alt equals is the shortcut for auto sum and you can type in the named range either. It's showing in the list here. I can select which one I want to use and then press enter. So use named ranges to navigate to cell references or use F3 to paste your names into a formula.